Good morning all. Welcome to the maths class of standard 3. I am Shweta and I am teaching chapter number 5 that is division. And this is chap video number 2 of this chapter. Okay. So in this video just we are going to look for the relationship between multiplication and division. In this video, we will look for the relationship between multiplication and division. Multiplication already you have studied. So, in this chapter, first in this video, we are just going to discover the relationship between multiplication and division. But first of all, we will start with an important fact. The important fact that is written here, when we multiply two numbers, we get the product. As you already know that, to multiply, we need two factors. Okay, two factors we need and after multiplying that factors, we get the product. The result is called product in multiplication. Okay, so it is written like that only when we multiply two numbers, we get the product. By multiplying two factors, we get product. Now, this product can be divided by any of its factor. Now, what is the relationship between multiplication and division here? Like 5 multiplied by 4. Okay. These are the two factors I have written here. Now, I am just going to multiply that. 4 5s are 20. So, now here the 20 is the product. 20 is product and 5 and 4 are factors. Okay, so now what is the relationship between multiplication and division is when we use to multiply by two different factors, we get product. And this product can be divided by any of its factor. Now, for every multiplication fact, we have two division facts. Okay, like this is one multiplication fact. Now, how we can convert these two? convert this to two division facts like I already have written product is equal to dividend okay this product will become the dividend so we will write here 20 okay and factors factors will become either divisor or quotient so here first we are taking the first number that is 5 the first factor 5 as a divisor okay is equal to what we have to find out 20 that is the product and 5 5 is a factor so is equal to what okay so how we have to do this division 20 then we have to give a sign like that okay this dividend will be under this bracket after that we have to write this 5 Okay, so now we will check the table of 5. 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, 5 threes are 15, 5 fours are 20. So here we got 20 in the table of 5. Okay, how much? How much are 5 fours are? So we will write here 4. 5 fours are what? 20. So we will write here 20. Okay. And after that, we have to give the minus sign here and we have to subtract this number from this number. Then we got 0. So, this is the quotient. Okay. The answer that we have got after the division is the quotient. So, as you can see, 5 multiplied by 4 is equal to 20. So, we have changed this fact, uh, multiplication fact to first division fact then we have converted this product to dividend the first factor to divisor then the second this the quotient that we got is the second factor as you can see so this is the first division fact that we have got from this multiplication fact now the another second division fact similarly like that we have to put this 20 as a dividend okay and then now we will take this second factor as a divisor. So we will write here 4. Now four we will check the table of 4. 4 1s are 4. 4 2s are 8. 4 3s are 12. 
4 fours are 16. 4 fives are 20. Again we got the 20 in the table of 4. Up to which we have counted 4 fives are. So we will write here 5 and what we have got 20. So again we will divide this 0, 0. What we have got as quotient 5. So here we can write 20 divided by the second factor 4 is equal to 5. So, so you have seen that every multiplication fact has two division facts. We can change either product to quotient or divisor. If the first factor is divisor, then the second factor will be quotient. If the second factor is divisor, then the first factor will be quotient. Okay, by 20 that is product will be dividend only. Like here I have written product is equal to dividend and factors is equal to divisor or quotient. Okay. Hope this is clear to you. So write this uh, facts in your max copy. Okay. So here I have written a question. Write the division facts for the following multiplication facts. Okay. Here you can see I have made three columns. In the first column I have written the multiplication facts. Okay. In the second column I have written one division fact. And in the third column, again, second division fact. Okay. So, you can see there are somewhere the blanks are given. Like the first question, 6 multiplied by 2 is equal to 12. Okay. So, this is the full multiplication fact written here. Okay. You cannot find any blank here. Means we do not have to write it here. This is the complete multiplication fact. Now, we have to change this multiplication fact to the division fact. Okay, two division facts. So, as I already have told that this product will become the dividend. Okay, this product will be with dividend in the division facts. So, here already I have written 12 as dividend. Now, divide by 6. This fact I have written here as a divisor. Okay, now we have to find out that what will come as quotient. So, simply I have told that if one factor is Placed at divisor, then the second factor will be placed at quotient. So we have to write it here 2. You can also check that by 12 divided by 6. Okay, so uh, check the table of 6. 6 1s are 6, 6 2s are 12. So 6 2s are 12. We got okay, so here the uh, quotient will be 2. Okay, now the another division facts 12 divided by 2. Here the second number we have taken as divisor. So the first factor will become the quotient. So we will write here 6. Understood everyone? If you have any problem in understanding this, then write in the comment box and I will solve your problem. Okay, now the second multiplication fact is not written completely. 7 multiplied by how much? Is equal to 84. Okay. Then either you can check in the table of 7. That when you will find that 84. Or in the from the division facts you can also take help. Like it is written 84 here as a dividend. Factor is written here. Dividend is written here. Okay. One factor is written as a divisor. Here also the place of quotient is vacant. Okay. So, we will check for the another division fact. Now, here 84. 84, the factor is written as dividend. And the another factor is written as divisor. So, first of all, we are, here we have to write 12. Okay? Because this 12 is the factor of this multiplication fact. Now, here what we can write? If 7 is this factor, we have placed at divisor. Then the second factor we have to place at quotient. Okay. Now here the second factor is written as divisor. So the first factor we have to write as quotient. Understood? Now the third one. Here the multiplication fact only one factor is given. Uh, the another factor and uh, product is not written here. So we have to find out. Okay. So how we will find out that? We will check for the division facts. So it is written 56. 56 is the dividend. And as I already told 
that product is equal to dividend. So this dividend will be product. So we will write here 56. So in this multiplication fact, one product is written. We got the product. We have to find out the second factor. Okay. So here it is written 56 divided by 7. The first factor is given here. So we have to find out here the quotient. So we have to check for the another division fact. Okay. 56, it is common. We got the product 56, dividend 56, dividend 56. Here 8 is written. Okay. The another factor is 8 because here we have used 8 as divisor. So we can write here 8. Okay. So here also 56 divided by 7 is equal to the second factor we have to write 8. And here 56 divided by 8. If we are using this factor here as a divisor, then we have to put the first factor as quotient. I hope the relationship between division and multiplication are clear to you. So just pause this video and write these examples in your maths copy. Now here I have written an another important fact. Okay. That is dividend is equal to divisor multiplied by quotient. Just try to understand that. Earlier in this video only I have told dividend is equal to product. Okay. So when we got the product, when we used to multiply two factors. Okay. When we used to multiply like this is uh, product. Product. When we get product, when we used to multiply Factor by factor. Okay. Like 5, 4. Then we got 20 as product. And already I have told you when I was discussing about the relationship between multiplication and division that we can change this product to dividend. Okay. Dividend. And either of these factors can be converted to divisor or quotient. So similarly like that it is written here. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient. When we will get product? If we will multiply two factors. First factor will be divisor. Then the another factor will be quotient. So in both of the quotients the divisor is written and the quotient is written. Now we have to find out the dividend. As already I have told you to find out the dividend what we have to do? We have to multiply divisor with quotient. So here 6 multiplied by 7. Six, 7 6 are 42. So we can write here 42. Now you can also check that. How? Just write 42 here and then divide by 6. Okay. Now check the table of 6. 6 1s are 6. 6 2s are 12. 6 3s are 18. 6 4s are 24. 6 5s are 30. 6 6 are 36. 6 7s are 42. 6 7s are 42. Okay. So this is the divisor. This is the Quotient. Now, similarly like that, we will solve this second question also. Here the divisor is written 16 and the quotient is written 4. So we have to multiply. 4 6 are 24. So we will write here 4 and this 2 will be carried forward to here. Now 4 1s are 4 plus 2 6. So 64. Okay. So we are just writing here 64. Again if you want to check this. That is this right or not. Then we are again checking this. 64 divided by 16. 16 ones are 16. 16 twos are 32. 16 threes are 48. 16 fours are 64. 16 4s are 64. So again we got the correct answer. 
So I hope this is clear to you. Pause this video and write these examples in your maths notebook. Okay, to clear the concept again, again I have here taken two numbers. So what we have to do, we again have to find out the dividend. The div divisor is given here and the quotient is given here. Okay, so how we can find out the dividend? By just multiplying these 7, 9s or 9, 7s. Okay, 63. So we can write here 63. The second one is 5, 5s. Five 5s five are 25. Now we can write here 25. Okay, understood how you have to find out the dividend with the help of divisor and quotient. So, if you have any doubts, write in the comment section. I will solve your problem. Now, pause this video and write these examples also in your maths notebook. 